Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, we do our Copa America Group B reaction to um, Ecuador 1, Venezuela 2, the All Star, but Mexico 1, Jamaica 0. So let's start with this game, man. So Ecuador 1, Venezuela 2. I thought Ecuador, for me, the first half were fantastic. And now let's talk about the red card situation, guys. For me, it was a straight red card. It was deserved red because now I know people are going to be trying to play. Uh, people are going to say, Oh, Enter Valencia won the ball. It was a bit of a soft red whatsoever. For me, it doesn't matter. The rules of the game state that if you try to kick another player, you get a straight red. That's a simple rule, you know. And it doesn't matter whether it was soft or whether he won the ball whatsoever. He got, he kicked the other player. And you're not supposed to be doing that. You're not supposed to do that. And anytime you do that, you get a straight red. So I have no complaints with that. Yes, some people will say it's harsh and everything, but for me, it's not. And... That didn't stop Ecuador, though, because Ecuador looked really good that first half. They were dominating Venezuela, despite having less possession, playing largely on the counterattack. They were creating a lot of issues. They were causing Venezuela to uh, str struggle a bit defensively. And even though Venezuela did create a lot of good opportunities, they weren't clinical in the first half for Venezuela. They were only able to generate one shot on target. Whereas for Ecuador, they were creating chance after chance after chance. And then finally, they score a goal from Sarri Minto, Coming off a little mistake there from the uh, Venezuela defense that like, uh, ricochets off the defender and it falls into the feet of Sarmiento and Sarmiento goes for goal and scores a vital goal. And the thing with Ecuador, I've always said this before, is that their midfield and defense is pretty solid. It's just their attack is really bad. But you know what I was really surprised with? The second half, they were pathetic. Venezuela, I felt like Ecuador already thought, hey, we won this game. So we're good to go. But then the second half, man, Badistia, Badistita made two big changes at halftime. Brought in Bello and brought in Cadiz. Two big changes that paid dividends. Because in the second half, man, Ecuador looked really awful. 29% possession, only two shots more on target. Venezuela had four shots more on target. And then all of a sudden, a goal came from nowhere. Cadiz, great set piece there. Terrible defending there. And it's 1-1. One, one. And you think it's okay, 1-1. One, one. Maybe Ecuador can get back in this. Nope. Because Ecuador were just looking awful. Only creating one shot. It was crazy. You know, and then finally, um, Bello comes, uh, Be uh, you know, the shot, he gets a rebound there um, from Bello to make a 2-1 to um, Venezuela. And I think Ron Don actually got the, uh, got the initial shot there, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, I mean, for Ecuador, for Venezuela, man, this is massive. To get three points from this position, from a losing position, a winning position. Now, I know a lot of people are going to go in the comments and say, oh, they only won this game because they were down at 10 men. That doesn't matter because that's not Venezuela's fault they went down at 10 men. That's not Ecuador's fault. I'm sorry, that's not Venezuela's fault. That's Ecuador's fault. They're the ones that went down at 10 men. So you can't blame Venezuela for that decision, right? And for Venezuela, this is a massive three points. Massive three points. And now it puts a lot of pressure on Ecuador because their next game, Ecuador, is going to be Jamaica. Now, given what we saw about Jamaica, and I'll get to Jamaica in a bit, that's going to be a tricky game. As for Venezuela, their next game is against Mexico. That's going to be a very interesting game. Venezuela and Mexico is going to be very interesting. Guys, this group has just got a lot more interesting than it should be because a lot of people expected Ecuador and I think Mexico, I think Ecuador, Mexico, the two nations were probably the most favored to advance. Now we could potentially see a scenario where Ecuador may not advance, potentially. So let's talk about the other game now. Mexico won, Jamaica nil. Um, for me, for this game, guys, Mexico were the better team. Jamaica were always going to be the underdogs in this game. Let's be real. Now, I thought Jamaica actually put up a good, respectable showing in the the first half, uh, Mexico created a lot of opportunities. Obviously, Montes had the effort saved. And what's very interesting is the fact that Jamaica did so well with their back on goalkeeper. The back on goalkeeper was fantastic. Chavis there. Second half, though, I don't know what happened. It feels like Jamaica just couldn't keep up with intensity. And they eventually did score a goal, which was rightfully disallowed. Because Mitchell Antonio, he was rightfully offside. But then from that point on, Mexico peppering, peppering, peppering the goal, 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 goal. Jamaica goalkeeper had to make so many big saves. And then finally, Ortega in the 69th minute broke the deadlock by scoring a fantastic solo individual piece of brilliance. Obviously, then um, Jamaica started to be a bit more aggressive for the goal. 
started to look for their goal desperately. But you could kind of just tell from that point on, they were just trying everything they could to equalize. But they just couldn't be able to do it because of how poor their attack is. So I think my big takeaways is that both teams attacking-wise are very, very poor. But defensively, I both teams defensively played well. I thought Jamaica defensively were great. I thought w- w- uh, Wade goalkeeper was fantastic. I thought Pinoc, Aladbrudy, uh, Bernard actually had a good game. It's just that Jamaica attack is so bad. Like, I mean, Jamaica attack. Like, without Mitchell Antonio, I don't know where the goals are coming from because he just feels like the main goal scorer. And that's my problem with Jamaica. As for Mexico, Santa Gaminez had a dis- disappointment. I thought he was pretty underwhelming. Uh, Pinada was pretty underwhelming as well. Quineros, like Antuna, like Mexico really did struggle in this game when it came to goal scoring. And I think that's a big issue. Defensively, I thought they were good. Um, but then again, Jamaica didn't really threaten them much defensively. So I don't know how much I can give credit to Mexico or Jamaica just being subpar. I, I think I'll just be both. And for Edson Alvarez, that's a big, big, bad injury. Huge injury. That is critical because he's one of their most integral players. In my opinion, he's one of Mexico's best players. So you need him on the pitch. Yeah, I mean, the defense, Vasquez, um, Montez, they did a decent job over Sanchez. And Ortega, man, scored a fantastic goal. There's a lot back. So, like I said, for both teams there, defensively, they were good. The attacking-wise, pretty poor. Attacking-wise, very, very poor. And I think for both teams here, it's going to be very interesting. So this is how the group is laid out, guys. So we have Venezuela that's top of the group by goal scored. Second is Mexico. Third is Ecuador. And fourth is Jamaica. So the next match day we're going to have is going to be Venezuela versus Mexico and Ecuador versus Jamaica. So I'll be making those match day two predictions on um, probably Tuesday for you guys. So stay tuned for that, guys. Anyways, those are my quick thoughts on the two games. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Remember guys to like and subscribe and peace out.